Free the Animals has a very special place in my heart. In late 1994, I picked up an autographed copy at a Barnes & Noble in Chicago, where I lived and worked at an open admission shelter. I could not put the book down, but more than that, I was so inspired and moved that I wrote Ingrid a letter. I wrote, quote, it seems impossible to describe the way I felt when I finished reading the epilogue, touched, revolted, amazed, but most of all determined to become a part of the change. Two years later, I packed up my life and moved to Norfolk to become part of that change. My connection to Free the Animals remains strong today. The beagles the ALF rescued from the absurdly named City of Hope, for instance. Now, 27 years later, PETA's efforts to save more so-called research beagles are in fact an actual city of hope. Our undercover investigation of massive beagle breeding factory farm in Vigo, whose Virginia site had operated under the radar since 1961, started an unstoppable movement. In just five intense months, ending just last month, we prompted the USDA to cite this facility for dozens and dozens of violations, brought together animal protection organizations from all over Virginia, worked with legislators from both sides of the aisle, lobbied relentlessly, and engaged thousands of Virginians in what became a historical, groundbreaking effort. Five Beagle Bills passed both chambers unanimously, which is unheard of. And all of those were signed just last month by Virginia's governor in a ceremony whose guests of honor included a dozen rescued beagles. Close to 400 dogs so far have been rescued from Invigo. And best of all, if on or after July 1st, 2023, the facility has just one critical or direct violation or three non-critical direct violations, it will have to close its doors. And then we hope to free all the animals.